Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Mark Edwards here again, uh, owner and lead instructor for Crabgirl Taunton and Bridgewater and MAE Fitness. Uh, Fitness Friday again, has come around really, really quick. So what I thought I'd do today, guys, is do a quick video uh, on the importance of why we need to warm up before exercise, okay? And then do a quick little demo of one of the sort of exercise warm-up routines I do, uh, either if I'm training by myself or running the class. So, warm-ups, often neglected and overlooked, uh, and but crucial, really, uh, really, really important. If you're interested in, which you should be, in reducing injury whilst you're, whilst you're exercising, if you're in, interested in, in improving flexibility and mobility, uh, warm-ups are for you. If you're interested in, in increasing your performance during that whatever activity you're going to undertake, whether it's for competition or sports space or just going out for a run or an exercise routine by yourself, warm-ups are for you, <laughs> okay? Absolutely, everyone needs to do them. Uh, certainly in my previous career, it was something that was quite overlooked and some uh, equally cool down, cool downs and warm-ups, uh, cool downs were quite overlooked, uh, hence why a lot of ex-service personnel <laughs> have quite significant injuries or long-standing injuries with, with joints, backs, and muscle injury. So don't overlook them, absolutely crucially important. If you want longevity, you want to keep training and exercising well into middle age and older, okay, uh, start warming up correctly now, <laughs> okay, is my advice to you. So other benefits then of, of, of good warm-up, we can, uh, by increasing uh, that movement and warm up your joints and your muscles, we get a little bit of electricity in your muscles so they have a greater range of movement whilst you're exercising. Uh, it's also great for easing any sort of muscle soreness you may have had from the previous session. Uh, so that's really, really useful as well. I quite often uh, just do a mobility to warm up on a rest day just to get the blood juices going, get the blood flowing, uh, and just ease any muscle tensions or soreness I might have had for the previous week's uh, activities. Uh, and probably the most important one is, is, is by warm up, you get an increase of blood flow and therefore oxygen uh, through your system, okay? And therefore improving your performance uh, during that exercise activity. So I hope that's a good enough reason for you to, 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 to warm up correctly. If you're not doing it uh, at the moment, I highly recommend it. Uh, it will certainly improve uh, yeah, yeah, whatever endeavor you're gonna do. Uh, and most importantly, longevity, which is really into at the moment, is being able to exercise well, well into old age. There's no reason why most people can't do that. So a quick routine I quite often use, uh, one of them I want to use, uh, is using a, a medicine ball. Now, and this is a, a men and ball, which you use for striking drills in, in our sort of self-defense classes or when I'm training. But a 3K, 2K, 5K med ball, depending on your performance, uh, exercise experience, uh, will be ample. And it just adds a little bit of resist resistance into the movements as you work and you get a nice fire warm up. So the first one I'm going to do, uh, uh, good old wood choppers. So wood chopper basically, I'm starting with a ball above my head. I uh, imagine I'm just uh, chopping through a log uh, nice and fast. So I'm flexing at the knees and the hips as I'm imagine I'm going to chop through at the lump of wood nice and fast, okay? So I may go straight down, I may start to think about cutting a wedge into that. Okay, so it's a nice one, starts to work all the big joints and the muscle groups in a simple movement. So I do typically do each move for about sort of 10, 15, 20 seconds, depending on how much you need it to warm up. Obviously, nice warm sunny day, probably less so. Winter's morning might need a slightly longer time for each movement. So wood choppers, the next one I'll go into a Russian twist when we stand in. So again, I'm keeping my arms about arm's length, a ball about arm's length away. I'm just rotating side to side. So I'm looking for a full range of movement. So the benefit of using a weight or a med ball is I get a bit of rotation and anti-rotation into the movement. So I've got an accelerate then decelerate. So it's really uh, nice uh, to work the core uh, as we're warming up. So that's a Russian twist. Then I move into uh, good mornings. So just going to have this on the back of the, the head and neck. Okay, bending the knees slightly, then I'm hinging forward, I'm flexing up the hip. Okay, and I'm just warming up the hamstrings. 
and the lower back. Okay, so there's a nice little leading to the exercise. Okay, so we're going to good mornings. And then I'm going to do around the wheels um, on the legs. So we'll start again 10, 15, 20 seconds on that. I'm going to start a ball low, I'm going to come up all the way across to the other leg, all the way up. So I'm driving through the legs as usual. So again, hitting the hamstrings again on the shoulders. Okay, so all these moves you're pretty much hitting all your muscle groups. Okay, pretty much. So that's your round the worlds. Uh, ben, like everyone's favourite, going to do a squat to press. So it's just a standard uh, goblet uh, squat, effectively. And then remember that squat. I'm sitting on the chair, but I'm driving through my heels. Top of the movement, and I'm on my tiptoes, and I press towards the ceiling. Okay, so I'm squatting down, drive through the heels, tiptoes, and a press. So if you think goblet squat with a, a shoulder press, you're not too far off. We'll just do a couple more of those. Okay, remember sitting down, drive through the heels on the upward phase, and then work from there. The next exercise I like is a golf swing. So all I'm doing is I'm driving up, one side, other side, other side. I'm just reaching over the shoulder, accelerating through, bit of rotation for the core and the spine, really nice warm up, and then move straight into sit throughs. So sit through <coughs> is a sit up with your legs and your arms extended. Okay, so what I'll do from here, I'm going to start my arms extended above the head, and I'm going to lie back, stand this sit up, and as I sit up, I'm going to put the ball on the floor between my shins. Okay, lean forward again because you're looking to elongate your hamstrings. Okay, so we're just going to rinse and repeat through that one, driving through, nice little bit of hamstring rehab as well. Okay, nice flow of movements, warm up that core, and then again, 10, 15, 20 seconds per movement, and then I'll typically move into Russian twist whilst we're sitting. So again, med ball, full range of movement, high over the knees, working side to side. Again, just working that core, bit of rotation, or the torso, again, depending on what weight you've got, it's a bit more challenging on the shoulders. If it's a heavy weight, gets the heart rate up nicely as well. Okay, working through here. Okay, so that's your Russian twist. And then I'm gonna lie back and go into a shin reach or uh, toe taps. So we're on our backs, legs extended towards the ceiling. And all I'm doing is I'm uh, basically pressing the med ball to my shins as I do a little sit up. So again, it's just activating. Getting that core going, a little bit of arms and shoulders. Okay, already getting a little bit of sweat up, which is what we want. So working from there, a nice little exercise, certainly gets the abs going on that one. And then we're going to work uh, T press ups. So basically, it's a normal press up, which we know and love. So it's that like normal press, I'm going to drop my chest to the floor, arms out in a T shape. Press up, chest to the floor, T-shape, press up, press to the floor, T-shape. So remember on that press up, our back is nice and flat, engaging the core throughout the movement, and we're just taking the momentum out of the movement so we can't cheat it. Okay, so you can work here, your arms, chest, shoulders more thoroughly. And after that, nice little fun one, which I like, is going hollow hold to uh, excuse me, Superman's, hollow hold to Superman's. So I hope we've got enough room so you can see. So I'm going to start with a hollow hold. So a hollow hold is basically raising my feet and my shoulders off the ground. I'm squishing my small of my back into the floor so there should be no gap. Okay, so we engage that core. And then from here, without using my hands, I'm going to roll on to my tummy. Quick Superman. Now, ideally, I'd roll to the other side, but I'll be off camera. So I'm going to roll back, then back into hollow hold. Roll the other side if you've got room, but I'm going to keep going the same side so you can see. So I'm going to hollow hold, Superman. Hollow hold, super. So really bit of fun drill, challenge the core. Okay, try not to use your hands as you're moving. Okay. 
And again, just work to the upper back, uh, wrong lower back, and your core. Uh, and then we're going to last exercise to warm up the obliques. It's basically a side bridge, <coughs> excuse me, with a hip raise. So it's a standard bridge and raise. So I'm working from here. Body nice and straight, core engaged, hat, top hip. Uh, I'm going to drive to the ceiling, hold it briefly, then come back down. Okay. So I'm just working those obliques. So again, 10, 15, 20 seconds per side. So let's just do a couple more. And then we'll flip sides. <clears throat> again, nice and straight, core engage, drive the hip up, then come back down. <clears throat> and there we go. That's a nice, quick, dynamic warm up. Uh, uh, and gets you ready to train. So as I said, uh, please don't disregard these. Please don't avoid or skip your warm up. Uh, it will pay dividends in the long run. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, can't recommend doing these correctly as much as you can. Preference these days now is it's been proven dynamic warm ups is preferable to, uh, to the more traditional and most people might remember static stretches. Okay. By taking your body and your joints and muscles for that range of movements. Okay, it just gets you better prepared uh, for exercise. Starts and raise uh, the heart rate, ready for exercise for a higher intensity as required. Okay, so I thoroughly recommend it. <coughs> That's me for today, guys. Have a fitness Friday, and I'll see you all next week. Cheers.